What's going on guys? Sorry it's been a while. I've been pretty sick. I got strep and then it turned into an abscess and it actually blocked part of my throat so I couldn't talk. Uh, they had to do a procedure and drain that. So we're good now. We're back to normal. But I just picked up a absolutely massive collection. I'm going to let you guys all know how much I spent at the end of it. Because I don't... It's not going to preface how much I spent. You guys aren't going to think it's this much. It's roughly 200 games, consoles, there's some controllers... There's a lot of accessories, some empty manuals, cases, things like that. So we're just going to dive right into it. And I'm taking a step away from what we typically do. So we've all been heavy into reselling, heavy into what we do, but it's kind of taking the enjoyment out of it that I do. So I'm going to revert back to my collecting. So how I started this whole thing, I would buy a collection, collect the pieces I want. I did start mostly with Funko Pops, but I've been really into video games, mostly GameCube. But I would take the pieces I want, sell it for a little bit of profit or basically break even and just rinse and repeat. Then I'd go to garage sales. I'd see what I can find that I like. Um, as you guys can see, Legos are a big thing that I like. So we got the Funko Pops representing down there. Don't worry. But uh, that's where I'm kind of going to take the channel from now on. Just because it's the business is kind of taking the fun away from it. It's kind of like making sure we're getting it, missing out on some deals because the profit margins just aren't there, but like really cool pieces, things like that. So I just want to get back into it for the fun of it rather than the bottom dollar. But without further ado, let's get into this. There's 11 bags, boxes, bags, different things to go through. So it's going to be a long video. And after this, I'm going to post another video going through it and actually sorting out what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, and able to get to where I've spent and get a little bit of a profit, but let's box by box because that's like probably the easiest way to do this. But so we got a PS1. Um, there is a bag of cords, so hopefully all the cords in here. He said he's not sure if the systems work, so. Not a good sign. The open button's actually jammed. So we'll have to try to break that out. But a PS1. Oh, looks like we got a PS1 portable. This seems to be a pretty good. Like I said, a bunch of cords in the back. But there you go. Two systems right there. Um, We got a, I think it's a PS2 controller. cords get some games out here we got red hot outlaw volleyball complete catwoman complete these are original xbox it's weird they're in with the ps2 lot but basically he said he just had a bunch of these laying around he's got some doubles some that he just doesn't like anymore selling them but yeah, we got this one sealed. Not a very high dollar Wii game, but sealed. We got Hottest Party. A lot of these are complete by the looks of it. Dance Dance Revolution, sealed. Dance Dance Revolution Karaoke. DDR Max, that's complete. I can feel that. Zumba Core, Madden 08. Not a lot of high dollar games yet. We got open season on the 360. Let's see if that's complete. It is complete. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. This is a lot of stuff. Open season. Complete. Biggest loser on the Wii. Complete. Dance workout. Zumba 2. Oh, there's a good one. We got Guitar Hero, Aerosmith on the Wii. Looks like the game. Okay, this is the game. So we just gotta put the game in there. Not really sure why it's out, but whatever. Maybe you got it from GameStop. They had the little thing, put it in the case that was like a display. One, two, three. This is a PS1. These are PS2 controllers. Plus the one we pulled out. So there's four controllers. 
And there's another set of cords in there, but we don't have to pull those out. So we're gonna test all that, make sure everything works. I'm just gonna put everything right back in there and grab the next box. I think this is the Atari. Yep. What is this? Snow calm. Don't got dads. Don't roast me. All right. I'm young. I'm young. I don't. I don't know what these things are. Those little plug-in joysticks. A fighter stick. Definitely a Wii. Oh, a Wii draw tablet. Okay. Little accessories. Why not? Sure, that fighter stick's probably pretty good. I'm sure that it's a that's got a little nostalgia to it. He also gave me a ton of these, and I don't know what to do with them. I might just lot them up and throw them on eBay, but they're kind of cool. I don't know if they're 64 or original Nintendo, Super Nintendo games, but definitely a cartridge. Probably it's Nintendo. It's definitely longer. So either Nintendo or Super Nintendo. All right, we got a 64 mad cats so third party but seems to be in good condition we got a green high frequency from 64 we got a brand new nintendo ds sleeve why not Not even opened Skylander Imaginer's Fire Crystal. I really thought the Skylanders would be a lot more collectible. I don't know why, just little figures. It's related to gaming. You could collect on them all. There's not like a ton of them for each like game. I just figured they would be a lot more collectible than what they are. I think they're cool, personally. This is some kind of... Oh, disc... But it's like metal. But it's discs. Nothing in there. There are some loose discs, and unfortunately, the bigger title, bigger title games are loose. We do have a Skylanders port in here? This is the NES controller. I don't think we have an actual NES. These are I think they're xbox or playstation you just set the controller on there must add all the portals you got two skylanders and disney infinity is this another skylanders yep portal of power skylanders another portal I don't know what all these portals are. Some controllers. This is definitely not original. That's too light, too cheap. A couple of Wii nunchucks in there I'm just going to leave. But a lot of controllers in that one, so not bad. We got Wipeout. That doesn't feel complete, but it is complete. Wipeout 3. I didn't even know there was more than one Wipeout. It's really into fitness. Your shape. We got Spongebob, Gloom Doom, Spongebob Boat Dash, Goosebumps. This was actually a really fun game. I had it on the DS or Game Boy. Must have been the DS with being a Wii game. Dance 2. Disney Sing It. This is actually a pretty good game um, as far as value goes. So, like, a lot of these other karaoke dance games aren't bad. Disney Sing It, I think, is a $10, $15 game. Littlest Pet Shop. iCarly. My Ballet Studio. Like I said, these games aren't insane, but, but I got to tell you the price at the end. Like, I don't want to ruin it. The PS1 games, we're going to go right into them, are actually pretty good. The full Final Fantasy, so we got, 
don't know why they do this, but they have them split up into different ports. Oh, looks like the pin. Oh no, pin's good. Don't know why that came off. Final Fantasy. The original Tomb Raider on the PS1. World Cup Golf. Not a great game. Circuit Pro Bowling. Frogger. Pool. Just old fashioned pool. Some billiards, if you will. Theme Hospital. But definitely Final Fantasy. Probably the nicest game we've pulled so far. Let's see here. Naruto Ship You Done 2. Naruto Ship You Done on the DS. Two DS games right there. Ship You Done. Well, how do you say it? This is Jimmy Johnson Football. And Final Fantasy 9. Let's see. Make sure they're all complete with the manual. Both, all discs. Yep, all discs. Wow. So, Final Fantasy is pretty good. And then you guys might have to help me out here. Got another plug and play joystick. Quick shot. Quick shot joystick. That's not what I needed help with. I know how to read. Brainstorming. Now, is this Atari? Says Activision on the back. We got Street Racer. Battle Zone. Atari. Says it right on there. Perfect. Got some Atari games. I don't know what this. Oh, it's on the back. A game program combat. On the back, it's got like. Not like cheats, but um, different buttons to push for. Different like items in the game by the looks of it. Super Breakout. The OG Pac-Man from the Atari. Well, I guess not the OG because it's Atari. Casino in Defender. Some interesting Atari games. I have not came across Atari games. I don't know how they sell. I don't know how they do. But I thought that was pretty interesting. And we got more. We got Home Run. What is this? A game program. Another one. Asteroids. I know that one. Another Defender. A different Combat. The other one was like a yellow, wasn't it? Space Wars. Night Driver. Pitfall, the OG Mario. That's what that is right there. Air Sea Battle and Space Shuttle. Some nice Atari games there. I thought this was a fun lot to really start that new process of thinking, like going for fun and collecting rather than the bottom dollar, pushing profit. Because I do the side hustle. It's a side hustle. That's what I should preface this as. It's a side hustle. So I want to enjoy it. I got into it to enjoy it. Because I like collectibles, I wanted to do something that involved collectibles, but allowed me to make a little bit of money. And it started to become, like, not fun. I stopped doing it for a, a couple weeks because I was just like, it's not enjoyable anymore. Old-fashioned DS case. A little frayed on the bottom here, but honestly not in bad condition. Let's see what it looks like. We'll pop this open. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. No games in here, but pretty good one. It's got a game slot. It's a backpack. This just looks like a bunch of DSKs. This says Nubi, Nubby, Nubby, Nubby. Going with Nubby. Main strays. I think this is DVD and discs. Yep, I think. I had this exact one when I was a kid. It was DVDs. We take it on vacations or road trips and things like that. 
Uh, this is another DS, similar to the one that's still brand new. Um, is this a Game Boy? I think it's a Game Boy SP. You throw the Game Boy in there. Cover up. Um, Game Boy SP. What did I tell you? Two of them. I want to keep it interesting, but there's one big box of games, which is most of the games, and I want to finish with that one. So I don't want to just I don't want to just go right there. This is for Wii controllers, rechargeable. It's actually pretty handy. I had that with my Xbox. I had that with the I had a 360. Oh, this is original Nintendo. It's got the king. The buttons feel good. It's got the brand. It feels right. So 64, I didn't play a lot of. I was GameCube, PlayStation 2. That was my start. But my cousins obviously had 64s. So I would go over there and play that a little bit. Oh, here's the controller. The exact one I had. The gray GameCube controller. I did end up getting a, what are they, Firefoxes? No, not Firefoxes. What are they called? The wireless ones for GameCube. Fire. Fee. I can't think of it. That's going to bother me. We got to connect. These suck. They don't sell. Nobody wants to connect. It was a failed product. It just wasn't great. But connect. Got a. It's just Xbox. Yep. I'm trying to think of it's the original. No, original is bigger. So this might be a 360. A little different style 360. Microsoft. Is this Gen? No, nope, this is Genesis. I don't know what that is. You guys want me to know in the comments what that is? Have not seen that. It's similar to the 64 where it's got those long handles, but that definitely don't look like a 64. This is a PlayStation. Definitely a weird setup. Almost like a they tried to go a little Xbox. Because the Xbox definitely had the better controller. But they this sucks. They shouldn't have done this. Whatever this is. The rest of it's a bag of cords for the systems and like AV cords and stuff. I'm trying to see if there's any other controllers. No. Not seeing any other controllers. So that was just a bag of controllers. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this bag. It's Wii accessories. You got wheels, the original wheel. Is this is a bag of wheels. More wheels. Might just be a bag of wheels. These last two boxes are fun. All right, you guys stayed. You got to the end. We got the fun boxes. Testing. More of these. I think he gave me about 20 of those. All right, we'll start with the... This is actually cool. I haven't picked up any of these. So we got a World of Warcraft book. That's just kind of cool. Diablo 2. I got really into Diablo 4. I completed that. Um... Storyline like really quickly. Another Diablo 2. The ultimate strategy guide to Diablo 2. The official strategy guide to World of Warcraft. That's cool. So those are actually some pretty decent books. What we got in here? Oh, the cartridges. So these are loose cartridges. We got Donkey Kong Land. We got... Rocket power getting air. That's the rug rats. Bomberman on the Game Boy. Mortal Kombat 1 on the Genesis. 
So pretty cool ones there. We're going to throw that right back in there just to keep them all together. Pretty solid. Like I said, the loose stuff is the value, but beggars can't be choosers. We got Space Jam on the original PlayStation. Guessing it's a movie? No, maybe not. Spin Jam. Read that wrong. Spin Jam. Tiger Woods on the 360. Batman Arkham Knight. Cars, Lego Batman, Midnight Round 4, Die Hard, Driver, 007, 007, 007, no that's Tomb Raider, I got you though, you thought it was 007, Banjo-Kazooie, Dead or Alive, the B movie game and sports champions. Last two were oh, that's PS3 and Xbox 360. Oh, huh. I thought they were all 360 or all PlayStation. The last bit was PlayStation. Let's see, we got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Let me open that up. Okay, I got a little nervous. He said they're in lightly, like summer scratch, summer, but like the back of that, you guys can see. I was like, dude, is that the game? That's not lightly scratched. That's the game. You guys can see there are some lines right there, but not too bad, honestly. Loose. Or complete. Good talk, guys. I'm going to go loose. This might be a little difficult to show. This seems stuffed. But we're just going to pan through them. I can't really see them doing like this, but I want to show you guys. That looks like Spider-Man. Guitar Hero. Max Payne. Guitar Hero. Medal of Honor 007. Um, Hitman and Deer Hunter. Ooh, love that game. On the PS2, Godfather, some Madden. What is this? Jaw, SWAT. I was reading it backwards. Jaws, SWAT. SWAT and Splinter Cell, maybe? I can't read. Socom, Terminator. Wow, this is hard. 007, Da, MLB, yep. Street 2. NFL Street 2. I haven't played any of the NFL Streets. Uh, the NCAA. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And that looks different. Oh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Ooh, Skyrim. Love that game. NHL. PlayStation. PlayStation. The official PlayStation Magazine. The other one was Barbie Super Sport, Army Air Attack, Extreme, and Jam Packed, Virtual Pool, Bass Landing, and Bass Rise. So, you know, we got the whole, we got all the basses. So there's the loose. This is predominantly all the loose games. I think. It's such a shame. Such a shame these games are loose. Alright, here we go. GameCube. Superman. Star Wars. Star Wars Lego Star Wars. Medal of Honor. I'd be keeping that one. I'll tell you that. If it was complete. I'd be keeping that one. Spider-Man. If it was complete. A couple of Maddens in between. Metroid Prime. Be keeping that one. <coughs> oh, 
SpongeBob on the PlayStation, Caesar's Palace and Shrek. I'm trying to read and show you guys. Wheel of Fortune and Mary Kate and Ashley. Putters Golf. And that's it. Decent GameCube games, though. I can tell you that. If they were complete. Alright, guys. I think that's all the loose. Don't hold it against me, but I think that's all the loose. These are just manuals. Atari. Are these all the Atari game manuals? That'd be kind of cool. A casino. Defender. I think these are all the Atari manuals. That's kind of cool. Oh, I don't know what kangaroo. I don't think we had that Atari game. Just some manuals. We'll see what those are. Hopefully they're good. Empty 360 cases. Oh, King Kong. Exclusive edition. Apparently that wasn't it for loose games. UFC. Is this a movie? Xbox game disc. Isle 2 Sturmunk. No idea what that is. Dead Rising. That should be all to lose. Everything in here is complete. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 7. Dang. He did say there was some disc only, or some case only. Bio Fantasy. Wipeout, just case. Did say there was some case only. Just want to make sure all the rest of these. So Super Scribble, case only. Star Wars, is that Clone Wars? Clone Wars, case only. Fashion designer and cooking mama, case only. Cooking mama, probably not a bad case only game. Oh, Mortal Kombat and Genesis, we have that one. That's one of the cartridges that we have. So that's now complete. Well, not complete, but GTA 5, just the game disc. Another GTA 5 Just Game Disc. Halo Empty and Halo 2 Empty. So, there's those. So, these were all empty. I just want to pan you guys down here. Look at what I'm looking at right now. It's just a box. I don't even know how many deep. Three deep, I'm going to have to guess. Stunt Racer on the... 64, or not 64, um, <clears throat> Nintendo, NES, Mario Land, NFL Game Day, Siphon Filler, NFL Extreme, Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol, I don't even know how to do this. We got Sing Star Pop. These are all complete. Madden 03. Horse Adventure. Call of Duty World at War for the PC. Sims 2 for the PC. Crash Twin Sanity. This is actually a pretty nice copy. It's kind of clean. The manual is pretty clean, too. It's a pretty nice copy. Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh, clean copy. The case is busted though right here. A little chip missing. 
unfortunate. Over the edge. Guys, a lot of these will be ripped off on Whatnot. Um, link to my Whatnot is always down below. But definitely check it out. I'm not sure when that shell will be posted, but I, I'm going to have to go through these, kind of figure out what games are worth going on Whatnot. Because Whatnot whatnot's to move a lot of inventory, but you're not necessarily going to make a lot of money back. So I got to kind of go through and see what games are worth listing out. All right. Over the Hedge, if this was Black Label, I'd be keeping. I loved that game. I loved Over the Hedge. <clears throat> World Series of Poker. SSX. GTA Vice City. It had the sticker on top, and it looked like it was... I'm like, wow. GTA 3. Need for Speed Underground. Oh, Monopoly Party. I might keep this. Actually, I probably will. I'm really into Monopoly, if you guys didn't know. I have... Oh, they're not in here. I have 20 Monopoly games, I think, now. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. This one's actually in there. Not in another little side copy. If this was Black Label, I'd probably keep it. That was Spider-Man, in case you guys didn't see it. NCAA 07. I don't even know what to do with these. Because I can't... Put them in there because there's more stacks. Oh boy, this is the this is the good section. Guitar Hero World Tour on PS3. Cabela's Outdoor Adventure. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. Sing Star Country. No. I think I can get that off. Gow. Oh, it's not complete. It's not complete. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on the GameCube. 100% was keeping this. I already knew it ahead of time. I saw it. It's not complete. In case parameters of what I'm keeping is black label, so not greatest hits, not um, best selling, not the extra editions that came out later. Black label complete. That's what I'm looking for. <coughs> Enter the Matrix. Pretty cool game. A little beat up copy. And it's got both discs though. But it's got a lot of stickers. Not beat up copy. I shouldn't say that, but. A lot of stickers. Sticker on the back here. Sticker on the front. See player's choice. Not keeping that. But Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars 2. And Naruto. Not a bad game. Complete. Naruto Clash of Ninja. All on GameCube. You know we love some GameCube here. These are PS3, ACDC, Resident Evil 5, I believe that is, Duck Dynasty, Toy Story 3, I think that's Minecraft, The Beatles, Let's see if this is on here, yep, complete, Warriors of Rock, Guitar Hero, we got MLB The Show, Rock Band, Gears of War, and I don't know what that is on the bottom. Rare Replay? I don't know what that is. Is that Gears of War, and that's the type of game it is? NASCAR Unleashed, Medal of Honor Warfighter, NBA 2K14. Sports games, I'm going to line them up by system. I didn't even notice. I thought they were all... These are Xbox One games. So that's not bad. Sports games, I'm a lot about by system. They'll be on whatnot. I knew that for sure. Saints Row the Third. I think two is the best. It's in here with a Wii manual. 
Tomb Raider Legend. Call of Duty World at War. This was a really cool game. So, my grandma actually got me this game. I had a 360, but you could play original Xbox on it. My grandma got me the game. And I'm like, I mean, you know, like, grandma gets you a game. You're like, this looks stupid, but thanks, Graham. This was actually wicked fun. Sega Superstars from Sonic. And Terminator 3, The Redemption. Original Xbox, okay. NBA Street, the original. Crash Twin Sanity, another one. Another Crash Tag Team. Midnight Club 3, the remix. This is actually a pretty good game. Similar to Need for Speed, just doesn't get the hype that Need for Speed has. Sims, and Resident Evil Code Veronica. It's pretty decent games there. Definitely heavy in the PS2 sector. Two K sixteen, Madden O eight, High School Musical Sing It. Halo 3, Call of Duty 2, Fable 2, ooh, this seems like a game that might have a cult following, seems like an interesting game, back looks kind of fun, cool game, if you guys ever played that, let me know how it is in the comments, that kind of looks like a fun game, I might try it out. Forza 4, Call of Duty Black Ops, in my opinion, the best Call of Duty, Minecraft Story Mode, Splinter Cell, Rocky, FIFA 06, and another Pocket Bike Racers. Grand Theft Auto 4, you don't see 4 a lot, you see 3, Vice City, and then 5. It's like, what happened to 4? Gears of War 2. Gears of War. We Fit Plus. We Fit. We Fit. Fit on the Wii. We Fit Plus. And High School Musical Sing It. Then we got We Fit. A lot of We Fits. He's staying fit on this one. Cabela's Game Hunter. Jillian. That is sealed. Guitar Hero Legends of Rock. Rock Band. That's another sealed. My Fitness 2. And Fashion Party. So that is everything. A couple of games in there. We Shovelware, a lot of it. Um, obviously the dance games, the singing games. We're just going to get rid of those. But all set and done, I spent $300 on everything. Without the systems working, the controllers never sell, the lose the covers and the accessories, I just can't get rid of them. I'm into each video game for a dollar and fifty cents. So I never like to spend more than two dollars on the game if it is this kind of stuff. Um, obviously you come to me with GameCube Cubivore, I'm gonna spend a little bit more. But with this, $1.50 a game if nothing else sells. That's just the games. That's how much I'm in. So with that said, I think we did pretty good. Um, I know quite a few $15, $20, $25 dollars games that are in here. A lot of the Guitar Heroes are quick movers, $10 to $20. So things like that, I'm able to get that money back quickly. But yeah, keep an eye out. The next video is going to be kind of going through the games, just the games, and seeing what I want, trying to get that value to where I want to sell off, and just kind of seeing, elaborating a little more on what we're moving forward doing. But sorry about the longer video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button. Comment down below your favorite game in this. And like I said, Fable 2. Have you guys tried it? And then hit that subscribe button so you know when that next video is coming out. As always, see ya.